Hey, this is Amanda. I want to talk to you today about this book that I read by James Nestor called Breath. A friend mentioned this book to me and I just knew that I had to read it. And James Nestor is a journalist. He traveled all over the world to learn about the breath. He talked to different doctors and researchers and he even put himself through some crazy bizarre processes like having something shoved up his nose for 10 days so that he could only breathe out of his mouth. Pretty crazy, huh? So I'm a yogi and I've done a lot of pranayama and breathing exercises. So I thought I already knew a lot about the breath and how we should breathe properly. But this book blew my mind. I had been doing breathing exercises but I didn't really understand how to breathe and why it's so important. As I explained in my last video, most people take a deep breath and they breathe from their chest. And this is not how you want to breathe to get the most oxygen into your system or to calm yourself. What you want to do is breathe from your belly, which is diaphragmatic breathing. The diaphragm actually moves down so your lungs can expand and your belly comes out. And when you exhale, your belly comes in, the diaphragm comes up and the lungs contract. And this brings more oxygen into your system. Some other interesting things in this book is nose breathing. He talks about the difference between breathing through your nose and breathing through your mouth and why it's so important to breathe through your nose. And I think most of us assume that we should breathe through our nose, but we don't really know why. And the nose actually, it acts as a filter. It humidifies the air and warms it. And it also filters out harmful bacteria so that it doesn't make its way to the lungs. And some of the things mouth breathing can do is it can create interrupted sleep, eventually leading to sleep apnea. It can also lead to dry mouth, drying out your mouth, causing bad breath. And it can also dry your teeth out. And it can also lead to cavities. So Nestor recommends using surgical tape. Using a small square you just place over your mouth to keep your mouth shut at night so that you're forced to breathe through your nose. I've tried it and it actually, it does work. He also talks about different breathing exercises, one of which is a deep, slow inhale and exhale, inhaling through your nose for the count of six and exhaling through the nose for the count of six. And this deep, slow breath brings more oxygen into your system and is more healthy for your body. And so it's something that you can do and practice at any time so that your breath becomes slower and longer on a natural basis and so that you do this naturally all the time. And I've been practicing this too and being more mindful of my breath and it does make a difference. So I highly recommend this book, Breath, by James Nestor. I think you'll find lots of interesting facts in it and lots of great information. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button on this video, and hit the bell so that you can be notified of the next video that I post.